Do what you love with who you love for those you love. Now that you guys have finished your match, we're going to move on to what's called the warm down. The goal over here is to help re-lengthen the muscles after the activities that we've just accomplished to make sure that when we come back the next time and the time after that, that we're not feeling extra stiff and extra tight. So everything starts today after the match for what's going to happen tomorrow and the day after. We're going to start off with standing toe touches. Now, the goal over here is to be able to come all the way down, grab your toes, pull them up. So we want to be able to go all the way down, grab our toes, pull them up and hold it for 10 seconds. If we can't get there today, that's not a problem. That's a goal that we're going to work towards. But what we want to accomplish right now is to make sure that we hold that position for 10 seconds at a time. Once we stand back up, we're just going to shake out the legs and we're going to go back down. We're going to repeat this a total of five times. All right, let's get started. All right, so toe touches get as low as you can, guys. All right, if you can grab your toes, grab them and pull them up. If you can't, we want to be as low as possible and just let ourselves hang and we're going to count to 10. All right, ready? And everyone down. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. And up. And now we're just going to shake out our legs to get ready for the next round. And let's go again. Everybody down. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. All right, shake it out. All right, so again, we're gonna repeat this a total of five times after our match. Then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Now, we did the lunging hip stretch at the beginning in the warm up. We're also gonna add it as part of our warm down. So we're gonna take a nice big step forward. We're gonna push our hips forward. Now, we're not gonna rotate right or left. All we're gonna do is get that nice stretch in the hip. Once we're forward, we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna switch legs and we're gonna do the same thing again. The key is making sure we take as big of a step forward as we can and then we wanna push our hips as far forward as possible to feel the stretch and hold that for 10 seconds. We're also gonna repeat this a total of five times on each leg with a 10 second hold. Let's get started. All right guys, right leg forward, nice big step. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds, drop that back knee to the ground, push those hips forward, hands out to the side, and ready, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Now, one thing we wanna be sure of is to make sure that we're not in a position where our knee is going too far over our toes, all right, you're not gonna get much of a stretch for one. And the second thing is we wanna be in a position where we're making sure our heel does not come off the ground. So make sure your feet are flat on the ground, all right? Adjust your positioning so that the knee ideally is right above your shoelaces once you push forward to get the maximal stretch. Okay, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna switch to our left leg now. All right guys, left leg forward please. Nice big stretch forward, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. All right, you can step out of it. Good job. All right, we're gonna make sure we stretch our shoulders out. So we're just gonna reach across the body. You're gonna go, in this situation, I'm putting my right hand across. My left hand is coming right under my tricep to help pull the shoulder across my body. I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna hold that stretch for a nice 10 seconds. I should feel a stretch all the way through my shoulder as I come through and I'm gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna shake it out. I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna go 10 seconds on the other side. We're gonna repeat this a total of five times on each side. Let's get started. All right guys, right hand across the body please. Place the left hand underneath and pull that arm across, feel that stretch and we'll go 10 count. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. And just pause, go back into position really quick for me. Now, I want you guys to notice a couple of things. We have, at the end, we're seeing that the arm is underneath the shoulder, pulling it across, keeping it nice and high, and we have a couple of people who have their arm down here. Both situations, you're gonna feel the stretch in the shoulder. Ideally, we wanna see our hand underneath the arm, 
and pulling it across to maximize that stretch and be in the best position possible, making sure it stays nice and high and that's not just hanging down here. So we're gonna make sure we place our hand at the tricep as mentioned again, making sure the shoulder stays nice and high and we're gonna use that to pull ourselves across, all right? Keep it here. Yeah, good job. Move it a little bit right over there. Cool. So now that we have everybody in the right position, let's do that again, all right? Ready? Hold that position. And 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. All right. Now we're going to switch over, put the left arm across with the right hand helping to pull it. Ready? And go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. Pause, don't move. So as we can see over here, the arm is almost being pushed to an upward angle as opposed to a cross. So we're gonna make that slight adjustment. Put it right over here. And now adjust the shoulder so we're not rotating our body. We're making sure we stay in line and just pulling the arm across. Next, we're gonna move on to the lunging calf stretch to help re-lengthen all the muscles in the calf. All right, we're gonna do this by getting in position. So guys, turn around for me, please. Hands on the fence. We're gonna take our right foot back. All right, as far back as you can. There we go. Now, we're gonna make sure that our heel stays flat against the ground, and our goal is to push our knee forward as much as possible. We have a straight line all the way down from our shoulder to the ground. Our heel is flat against the floor, and we're pushing our front knee forward to achieve as much of a stretch as possible. Again, we're gonna hold this stretch for about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna switch. So guys, let's switch over to our left foot back with our right foot forward, please. And again, as you can see across the board, everyone has a nice straight line going from the top of their shoulders all the way to the ground. Their heels are staying nice and firm against the ground and they're using their front leg by pushing their knee forward to achieve as much of a stretch as is comfortable for them. Don't try to go too far. As long as you feel the stretch, your goal is to hold it for 10 seconds. And again, we're gonna repeat this a total of five times on each leg. Thank you. All right, and that concludes our warm down. All right, again, you are now prepared for tomorrow and what comes after tomorrow. We'll see you guys next time.